In this video, we are going to be creating a Fiesta Llama using implied texture. The materials you need are white paper, pencil and eraser, Sharpie or black marker, colored pencils, or whatever you would like to color, scissors, colored construction paper, glue, and some craft pom-poms if you have them. The elements of art that we will focus on are line, shape, and most importantly, texture, specifically implied or simulated texture. That's the way something looks as if it could feel. So we are going to give the illusion our llama has fur using some scalloped or wavy curved lines. Your I can statement is I can draw a fun fiesta llama using elements of art, line, shape, and texture. We're going to begin with our paper portrait style, up and down, creating four quadrants using our ruler. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna just draw a straight vertical line down and intersect that with a straight horizontal line across. This is gonna help ensure that our llama proportions are right. Now we've got our four spots and we are going to draw a circle touching the top where our lines intersected or met up together. Next, we are going to draw a big U shape that goes underneath the circle we just drew. So on the left hand side, draw a curved line that goes under that circle and meets up at the line in the center and do the same thing on the other side. Once you've created your U shape on the bottom, we are going to move our pencil to the top and begin drawing another curved line like a rainbow at the top. It should almost look like an avocado when you are finished. Now that we have the outside of our llama's head penciled in, we are going to draw its ears. So you're going to just draw a lightly curved line at the top on both sides, and then draw a curved line that meets back at the top of the head. Next, we want to give our ears a little bit more of a three-dimensional quality, so we are going to draw an inside line inside of the ears to give it some dimension. So just mimic the lines that you drew already following that shape. Next, we're gonna draw two vertical lines down from our neck all the way down to the bottom of our paper for our llama's neck. Next, we are going to move on to our llama's face, giving him two big nostrils. Think of them as a big curved line that connects back to a point on both the left and right side. Once you've created the big nose, we are going to create a straight vertical line down with two curved lines that touch the outside of that circle. So one big curved line on the right and one on the left. Once we have done that, we're going to create just another little curved line in the center. And then we are going to make the bottom of our mouth just a little bit smaller than the circle we originally drew because that was just our guide. Now I'm going to erase those lines and now we're gonna create the top of our llama's nose. So we're going to just draw a curved line following the line that we drew, coming up and giving it a little bit more pronounced curve. So we're drawing like a little wave, coming back down on the right-hand side, making that curve just a little bit more pronounced, 
and then going to just erase some of those lines that we no longer need. Once we are done with that, we are going to draw two curved lines for our llama's eyes. You can create any kind of eyes that you want. I'm going to have mine closed, so it's a curved line with just a series of smaller curved zigzag lines at the bottom for eyelashes. Once you do it on the right side, go ahead and do the same thing on the left side, creating symmetry. Now in order to give our llama the texture we want, we are going to create just a series of sort of wavy scalloped lines. Now originally I started to draw these as a little bit more rigid and then I went back in and made them a little bit more scalloped to give it more of a fluffy fur look. So that is up to you on what kind of a fur that you want to use. But again, I'm going to make it a little bit more scalloped and then draw scalloped wavy lines inside his body later on. Once we're done with our fur, we're going to draw a series of curved lines on our llama's neck. So just curved lines to create a fun and festive pom-pom necklace for our llama. Once you're done with your curved lines, just draw a series of circles for your pom-poms. Once you are finished with your drawing, go ahead and grab a Sharpie and trace all of those lines. Then go back in with your eraser and erase all of your guidelines. Next, grab your fine tip Sharpie if you have one, otherwise just continue to use your regular Sharpie and create some scalloped lines to create implied texture in your llama's neck and face. And have them going up and down side to side it's really up to you once you have finished drawing your implied texture go ahead and use your colored pencils or whatever materials you have to color and render your llama now I'm only going to color his ears and his nose and mouth as well as our fun pom-poms around his neck. Now if you only have markers or crayons, that's fine too. Color it with whatever you have. I like to use my colored pencils to get in a little bit more value and realism, giving it some light and darkness.
once you have finished coloring your llama, we are going to want to cut it out. Now I like to leave a little space on the edges to not cut inside my lines. So cut carefully and slowly all around your llama drawing. Once you have finished cutting it out, choose a piece of construction paper or craft paper that you have at home that you think will complement your drawing. Use your glue stick generously all around the llama's head. Now if you're using a glue bottle, a little bit goes a long way. Cover the surface and then flip it over and firmly press it on your paper. And lastly, if you have any of these fun and festive craft pom-poms, they make a great addition to this art piece. Go ahead and choose some of your colors that match your pom-poms around his neck. Arrange them however you want. Put a small dab of glue on one side and then glue your pom-pom to your picture. Now, if you don't have any craft pom-poms on hand, go ahead and just draw a few circles and then color them in just like you did around your llama's neck. Well done creating a fun and festive implied texture llama. Well done, my most incredible artists.